Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Today is March, uh, Monday, March 15, 2021. Cloudy day up here in Michigan. Kind of cold. Um, back to winter again. Hoping everybody's having a blessed Monday. Um, hoping you're still practicing social distancing and washing your hands and wearing your masks. We're still in the midst of this pandemic. It is not over. I want to talk about judging, judging people. Um, I just thought I wanted to, I wanted to share uh, some scripture with you and um, talk about um, what happens when uh, it, when we judge people. It's not a good thing to judge people, and I know. I noticed that a lot of that goes on here on YouTube, um, in social media, um, and and just in everyday life. Um, people constantly judge people all the time. People are um, in harsh judgment, particularly of celebrities, and um, we all get we all get judged. All of us, we all get judged. I get judged. Everybody on the planet gets judged. And I kind of wanted to share some scripture with you and kind of shed some light on judgment. Um, you know, uh, is it okay for us to judge? Is it okay for us to judge one another? Does how? What are God's views on judging? How does he feel about us when we judge one another? I want to share scripture. I wrote it down. Romans 14.10 And it says, But why do you judge your brother? Or why do you also look down on your brother? For we all stand before the judgment seat of God. So, <coughs> the scripture here is asking, Why? Why you, do you judge your brother? Why do you look down on your brother? So I think, you know, we've all been guilty, including myself at one point in time or another, of judging someone. Have you looked down on somebody? Do you judge people? Uh, for whatever reason, do you judge them um, how they look or um, like or their financial situation? I know a lot of that goes on here in the United States. The people judge people. Um, poor people get judged a lot. People judge people for not having enough money. And some people get judged for having a, an abundance of money. You know, a lot of rich people get judged. Uh, this is actually a scripture in the Bible talking about that too. Um, uh, I, I, um, I think that's in Romans too. Don't quote me. Uh, it says, uh, don't judge, don't judge the one that is not eating or don't judge the one that is eating. So that scripture talks about judging the poor, but it also talks about judging the rich. Yeah, I read that scripture. I uh, should have wrote that one down too. That one was in Romans. I, I think, it, now don't quote me. Don't quote me. I'm not sure if it was in Romans, but I read it. So <laughs> also Matthew, I'm going to quote Matthew 7. 7, 7, 1 through 5 talks about judge and you will be judged by the same measure that you are judging. And I quoted the scripture in another video. Uh, that's, uh, that's in the same scripture. You looking to take the speck out of someone else's eye, well, you're not going to be willing to take the plank out of your eye or, or, or a boulder or whatever. Um, however your Bible, your Bible was worded. Um, so you try to take the speck out of somebody else's eye, but you got to first take the plank out of your eye or log out of your eye before you go taking the speck out of someone else's eye. Judge and you will be judged by the same measure. So this is God's views on judgment. When we judge other people for whatever reason, 
whatever, whether it's their how they look or uh, their financial status or judging them on or uh, how they dress or um, judging them on according to how they're raising their kids or or um, their uh, personal relationships that they have with a significant other or or whatever reason or their race judging someone according to their race or their their gender or um <laughs> their relationships or whatever that relationship is or whatever the reason or you know um if a person has a certain status in life that they're um you know a rich person because rich people get judged too they, they get I, I read the blocks they get judged very harshly you know people uh, paste a lot of judgment on rich people. Right, right now, Meghan Markle is getting a riot act from a lot of people because of her interview with Oprah. So a lot of that judging goes on here on YouTube. You know, people coming on here doing whole videos, just bashing people, bashing people and judging people. But here the scriptures tell us, Matthew 7 Judge and you will be judged. 7-7. Seven, seven. Judge and you will be judged by the same measure. So what happens is when we judge people and we criticize people, bash people, all, all of it goes under the umbrella of judgment. We're going to get judged by that same measure. The same measure you're judging someone else. You're going to get judged by the same measure. And what goes around comes around. The Bible also talks about reaping what you sow. So you, you're you judging somebody else. And in turn, you're going to be judged. See, this is not, this is why it is not a loving thing to do, to judge people. And that goes for me and everybody on the planet. God is not pleased when we judge each other. And when Romans, what I read in Romans, why do you judge your brother? Romans 14, 10. Why do you look down on your brother? See, we are not to look down on anyone. We are not to look down on anybody. Because when you're looking down on somebody, because you are at a certain level of life, and you look down someone that is less fortunate than you are, or you looking down on them for whatever reason. Well, you might look up one day and you might be in that same situation. So we got to be real, we have to be really careful about looking down on people. See, we have to look be careful. And I know a lot of that goes on. A person is making a certain amount of money or whatever. They have a certain position in life. And um they looking down on others. Saying, you know, you you need to do this and you need to do that and you need to do this or whatever. You know, and, and thinking that they're all, all that because they have an X amount of dollars. And looking down on people that don't have as much as they have. I notice a lot of that goes on here in the United States. Classism. They call it classism. The rich looking down on the poor. You looking down on someone that don't have what you have. And you're judging them because they don't have what you have. Everybody's circumstance is different. Everybody wasn't meant to be rich. Okay. So. Uh, we are not to look down on anybody. Or the, the scripture where it talks about don't look down on the man that's not eating. But don't look down on the man that is eating. I can't remember what scripture that was. That means that talks about judging poor people and rich people. Because the poor people judge rich people. Thinking that they don't have the right to complain about anything because they have money. They do it to the celebrities a lot. They don't have the right to be depressed. They don't have the right to go through trials and tribulations. They go through the same things that everybody else go through. Is this the only difference is that they have money. 
See, your problems don't go away because you have money. Sometimes they say that when you have money, you have more problems. Well, <laughs> I like to test that theory out for myself. <laughs> the jury's still out on that. But it, it may be true. They say people, rich people have more problems than poor people. So, but people think because they have money, they're not supposed to have problems. So they figure they don't have the right to complain about anything. If they're having, going through a trial and tribulation in their life, people don't feel they have the right to complain because they got money. It's like everybody criticized Meghan Markle for uh, doing that interview where she was saying she was having problems with her in-laws. And people were a lot of people in the in the in the blogs were saying that she didn't have the right to 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 to, to complain because she's rich. Well, just because she's rich doesn't mean that she don't have problems. So I'm trying to cut this video, you know, not make it too long, but we God is not approved. He does not approve. Of us judging one another. Because like Romans 14.10 said. We have to stand before God. We all have to stand before God. And render our judgments. Render our own judgment. We all got to stand before God. And we're all dust. And we're all imperfect. So nobody's. Nobody is not better than anybody we're all on the same level in god's eyes nobody's better than anybody because of race financial status or whatever situation you're in you're not better because or whatever situation you're in you're not better so no one has the right to judge the other so that's something to think about i know a lot of people want to make money off of judging other people. But it's not a good way to make money. Because God does not approve. So. Just wanted to give that food for thought. It was something that I was meditating on today. And. Um, wanted to provide that scripture for you. You know. Give you something to think about. Give you something to meditate on. You know. Little food for thought. And you know. Spread it. Spread the. Uh, make sure you share this video. And spread it on, spread it on to somebody else. Maybe give somebody else that word as well. And it's something for all of us to take into consideration. It's something for all of us to think about. Okay, um, until the next video, make sure you, if you're new to my channel, you hit the subscribe button, like and share. Until the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet June.